wrist replacement um, is a treatment option for severe wrist arthritis. The wrist can develop arthritis from osteoarthritis, wear and tear arthritis, or from autoimmune disease or previous fractures or ligament injuries. Treatment options for wrist arthritis can include um, non-surgical treatments such as injections, physical therapy, and in terms of surgical treatment, we may choose to do procedures that involve removing some of the bones inside the wrist, or partially fusing the wrist, or completely fusing the wrist. And a more modern treatment is the complete total wrist replacement. The implant, which looks like this, there's two parts. There's a socket part and then a plastic part called the polyethylene, which fits into there with a post with two screws that go into the bone. Sits so kind of like this. This piece will go into the radius bone while the other piece will go up into the capitate bone. And these two will align and still allow some range of motion. So they move around, they can move side to side, and they can bend this way and that way. So it will try to replicate the normal movement inside the wrist. The surgery for wrist replacement is done outpatient. We immobilize these patients in a splint, permanent splint for a few weeks, followed by a removable brace and then physical therapy. Total healing for unrestricted use will take anywhere from three to six months. We try to keep this surgery for the more low demand patient because we worry about doing this type of implant on, on somebody who does really heavy tasks such as manual labor. For a patient who does really heavy weight bearing on their wrist, a wrist fusion is most likely going to be a better option. For the more lower demand patient, a wrist replacement is an ideal option because it, has, it will give them uh, a significant lifespan of the wrist replacement.